My fine gentlemen, I welcome you to this evening of pirating around on PvK2. I am the Dench, speaking and playing and shooting pot shots over at the Knight Archer on the other side of the map. Because I'm generally bored in this waiting for player state when the round starts at the first time when the map changes. You can just run around, do whatever you want. If you have a feel for conquest, go ahead and slay people. Otherwise, just be silly and look cute about it. You don't need to worry about points when you're in the waiting for players mode. So, I'm playing as the pirate sharpshooter. And this class hasn't been out too long, it's actually the latest class having been released and he has this fine-tuned little pistol that he can just go about and pow pow everything in his sight. It's fairly accurate, it is a hit scan weapon and it can does considerably amount of damage this thing. And as his special he can throw this fine little grenade bajiga thingy and cause various explosions. Now, as you may know, a range class is probably not the most popular thing the other teams will want to face, so you will be a high target for other berserkers where you will be highly mutilated into fine-grained dust, so you should stay away from that if possible. So you're all familiar with the arena game mode on PvK, you only have one life and you need to make the absolute best of it. Now how do you make the absolute best of it? Well, particularly as a pirate, all the pirate team classes have together combined the least amount of health and armor compared to the other teams. So, what, what can you do to compensate this? Well, there are three ways you can combat your low health, and that is by either going for an all-in, or you go do some idling, or you go for some backstabbing approaches. Now, what are those three concepts? Simply, if you want to do an all-in, you take a pirate class like the captain, who has a high health and armor from all the pirate classes, and he can deal a considerably lot amount of damage with his fine little plastic looking cutlass that actually can cut skin from bone. And you just simply run up to either team and hope for the best. You would go in and you land as much hits as you can without taking many hits yourself. But this is probably not a preferable idea because as you may know at the round start there are a lot of people already alive and it might hurt to actually go berserking in shirtless and beardless into enemy forces. Now. What you rather want to try to do when staying alive in arena is to not exactly go into as much conflict as you'd normally think. Like, well of course it's arena, I need to win by killing people. No, not actually, you need to win by staying alive. So that is the actual approach you need to try to go for. Now, to help yourself stay alive, as I was almost interrupting myself earlier, my personal favorite way of staying alive in arena is to go for either backstabs or just idling and by that I mean that I just stay out of combat as much as I want, as much as I can until I feel it's appropriate time to go and make my move against these barbaric grey bearded spear wielding majiga cool dude men who chuck spear and eat spear mint. And when the time arises, just go and take land a hit and then just retreat out of there. Because if you just run away, they won't most of the time not want to bother with you. But of course, if you get cornered as a sharpshooter, you will realize that your death is imminent no matter what. But that's okay. Remember, there is no shame in being outnumbered. So, as I was saying, if you want to do some idling, you just run around, stay out of combat, don't engage, don't get engaged, and you will probably just stay alive and have the most health once the conflict has ended when there's only a few people remaining. That's when you can make your move, and you have all the health in the world to spare. Alternatively, what you can do is do some backstabbing, which means it's perfectly best if you're a skirmisher and do this, because as we all know, the skirmishers can run at a velocity of a particular high numerical value, and they actually can run the fastest in the game, not counting the berserkers when they're berserk, 
The skirmisher is the best class for doing the backstabbing methods, and by that I mean just keep yourself idle enough, run around, and as soon as you find someone you can engage who has not at the moment kept their current focus on you, you should just run in and land one to two hits with your sword and then use retreat. Remember, you don't need to kill people to actually gain a tactical advantage. Switch targets back and forth. Hit someone two times in the back and then you run away, then change targets to someone else. And that's simply a way to stay alive in arena. If you not want to do some teamwork, well that is, because PvK, it, ha it, has, no, it has no teamwork whatsoever. You just, you know, it's all every man for himself. Pick a class, own with it, and I'm happy. Well, at least not the non-veterans might not be happy with that. But nevertheless... Okay, so we know what the skirmisher would want to do in arena, but what would the other classes do to say? What would the captain want to try to do? But what would the other classes want to do, say? What would the captain want to do in arena? The leader of the pirate underdogs, the man with a fine beard, a nice tricorn and a tame little parrot I named Norwegian Blue. What's wrong with it? It's dead, that's what's wrong with it. And it makes other people dead too. But as a captain, you have a limited amount of weapons because your primary weapon is the sword. You, yes, you have a big gun. Yes, you have a nice parrot that pecks people's eyes out and then eats them for dinner and then serves them to his small pet parrot thingies, his child from the eggs that just hatch. And then you can have a whole breed of murder parrots all over the place. So your shotgun is a one-time use, oh, well then you have to reload it, so you have to make that shot count. And remember people, it's not a rifle. You can, o you can only gain much use from that thing until you're actually hugging people. Or, well, a little bit distance from that. Because we're not homosexual and stuff, we don't hug each other. Now, and then there's the parrot. The parrot is supposed to be a distraction weapon. It has few uses. It's only a bit of a humoristic comical weapon that you can use to just for shits and giggles. But at few times it can actually work very well because I personally like to use the parrot mainly if I have a little bit of special bar that needs filling until I can load my special. I toss my parrot out because most of the time people will not be able to swap that parrot away for the first or second right, time the parrot bites someone because that is enough for the special bar to fill up completely and then you can just reload it safe and come back to battle and black people to bits. Simple as that. And as I was saying, your cutlass is your primary weapon and this cutlass is a lot stronger than you would believe. I got something the first, special for you. The first year I was playing PvK, I did not I had no faith in the captain's cutlass whatsoever. I but then I started to realize how much damage this thing actually does. I mean you can kill archers in like three two to three hits, depending if you're lucky enough. So it's a superbly reliable right, sword, so it's the pirate I tank, you can engage heavy knights and huskulls with this thing with a little bit of a maneuvering. You still have that little speed advantage and you have lower health, so you need to coordinate a little bit with your team and the surrounding environment to make your class the most potential tank in the event to result becoming the vector of the fight. And since the pirates now have a ranged class, the uh, tank class of the pirates, the captain can probably do a lot more, well, besides air shooting someone, he can do a lot more covering, team working, just like the heaven knight and the archer would. Surprisingly, the sharpshooter, even though the knight's archer have been around for as long as ever, and as we all know, the first thing a pirate team does is take their keg out and send all the knights to the moon. That's that's what it's been like every time, unless the viking or pirate team are stupid and let the knights up just live, and so the knights win all the time. And that's that's not like not right. They're winning, that means it's not right. It needs to be nerfed. 
so to completely conclude with this whole what to do as a pirate on arena you have low health compensate it by staying out of combat let the other teams deal with each other because you're more you're too important to them simply as that stay idle do some backstabbing stay with the team reload when it's safe and keg the knights send them to the moon like i said let them become the new armstrong I don't know much else to add regarding the pirates, they're fast, they do a lot of damage really quickly if they had played right. This has been the Dunge having given you the proper fine information regarding the mystical timeline where pirates, vikings and knights engaged in glorious combat for treasure and might. Fare thee well until next time, Miladies.